got to abide all the stop lights, stop signs, stay within the lanes, so you can't speed. We go around the nation into the schools and to different venues to help young people understand the dangers of texting and driving. At AT&T, we're all about smartphones. However, driving and texting do not mix. And we want to send that message with a very resounding and clear message that this is something you cannot do. It's something you must wait. And ultimately, no text is so important. It can wait. <laughs> they get on the simulator. They're texting and trying to drive. And the simulator simulates, fortunately, what would happen when you do that, which, of course, you wreck, you crash, you run off the road, and you have trouble. We want to underscore that with the students and make sure they understand it on their terms, which the, the arcade-style simulator does so well. We're also showing the videos from the first-hand evidence of what happens to real people when you try to text and drive. It's not a good thing. You, you don't want to you don't want to do this. It, it truly can wait. It was actually easy at first when I first started and then when I got that message that said text and you have to control how fast you're going and watch out for cars, that was hard and I didn't even make it to the next corner. You shouldn't have been texting as well. The simulator was easy at first but then when I got that text message, things didn't go so well. Um, blue car came out of nowhere and just crashed the back out of me. Probably would have seen it if I was texting. Students are able to sign the pledge that they will not text and drive. We have some iPads floating around and the students can actually sign up on the iPad. If they do, we're, we're very happy to give them some nice sunglasses that say it can wait, as well as some thumb bands which go on their thumbs to remind them if they need the little help to do that, to not text and drive. In September at the AT&T Foundry in Plano, Texas, which is one of only three such entities in the world, we had a contest which we call a hackathon. The hackathon basically is an application development process and the uh, students from Plano East were victorious at the hackathon. They were the w outright winners of the hackathon. The object of this competition was to create an application for smartphones that would help uh, high school students to graduate. We created an app called Ocular and uh, what Ocular enabled you to do was take pictures of equations that a student might encounter in their studies, but they didn't understand. And it would uh, tell the students how to solve that kind of problem. So today, when we had an opportunity to bring the No Texting and Driving Simulator It Can Wait program to the Plano Independent School District, it was a natural choice to choose Plano East in honor of the students who won the hackathon. Texting and driving is not a good idea. And I think that because we enabled them to come present that to this high school, a lot of people will have their opinions changed on texting and driving. I think it'll make a positive impact.